glass top stoves can be, well, can be a real hassle to clean, but in today's video, I'm gonna show you what you need to do to get the surface of your glass top stove looking brand new again. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of these unsightly stains baked on grease, sometimes it's just plain crud, or water stains that get, well, scorched into the surface. I'm gonna show you how to remove those. These are the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a microfiber cloth, a nylon brush. You'll want to use 30% vinegar because it's six times more powerful than, well, than your standard white vinegar. Now, I'll place a link in the description below so you can check this out for yourself. Make certain that you don't use it straight out of the bottle. You'll want to dilute it first. One part vinegar to 60 parts water. Now this is probably the most important thing beside the vinegar. You'll want to use a safety razor and it's always a good idea to test a small area first just to make certain that you don't have any issues and that you've diluted it properly. So let's get started. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to thoroughly spray down the cooktop with the water and vinegar solution. Don't, don't be afraid to be generous with it. Once you've sprayed the cooktop, let it rest for about 10 minutes. That's right, don't do anything to it. Let it really soak in for about 10 minutes before you start to clean. Now, if you're afraid that the solution may dry out, you can always take a paper towel and lay it on top and then just saturate the paper towel with the solution. Now, once 10 minutes have passed, remove the paper towel and discard it. Now we're gonna start off by scrubbing it with our nylon brush. Now once you thoroughly scrubbed it, take a microfiber cloth like this one here and wipe up the solution. Now once you wipe down the surface, you'll be able to see what the nylon brush was unable to get. And that's where the safety razor comes in you'll be really surprised at how easily you're able to remove what the brush didn't get. And it's because that vinegar has softened it up and has made it really easy to scrape with a safety razor. Now, once you've got it scraped off thoroughly, it's time to wipe it clean. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.